Welcome, Welcome to, to Chewing, Chewing the, the Cud. Cud. Well, hello. Welcome to another jam-packed episode of Chewing the Cud. We're here to bring you the latest round of showbiz news, a peek into the world wide web, and even a life lesson for you all. But before all that, let's give the socially distanced bear hug to Lee. Oh, thank you very much. Um, ooh, I bring you <laughs> some hot gossip straight from the lips of celebrities. That's their lips on their faces, including some information about sexy cartoon stars. And I've been trawling along the dimly lit street of the internet to bring you some of the bits you may have missed, including a story about something sweet. If you want to grab us, you can still find us on the social media platforms at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and if you want to listen to all of this as a podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on any of our social media platforms, you could see your name scrolling on the screen now underneath my bewinged bosoms. Okay, right here. Right, sorry, what, who have you been speaking to? I'm not talking about that, I am talking about the... Game of the Week. Our producer is a bit distracted this week. After the show, he has a second date with a fireman who says he'll let him slide down his pole and hold his helmet while he shakes the drips from his hose. Mm. But before that can happen, he's asked us to figure out these literal lyrics. So we've played this game before, Lee. Have we? Yeah, we have to work out what the song is from the lyrics on screen. Oh, I did well, I think. I think you did, yeah. I don't think I did. <laughs> is it the one where we had to, it was like rewritten? It's, rewritten? It was one of the first ones I won. Okay. Yeah. Um, so do, you want, do you want to go first? An undisclosed location above the celestial arc at a significant altitude there exists a province, the knowledge of which was imparted to me on occasion in a bedtime ballad. In a place beyond the spectral iridescence, the firmament, I've lost the will to live, the firmament <laughs> is azure and the illusions that you are bold enough to conjure have the potential to be made manifest. On an occasion in the future, I will place irrational faith in the mystic properties of such a distant sun. Did you read that again? I wasn't listening. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. That's an interesting one. <laughs> Is it chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap? <laughs> Agadoo. Yeah. It's Agadoo. <laughs> Oops, upside your head. <laughs> Oops, upside your head. Yeah. Is it the theme from Rainbow? Hope above the streets <laughs> and houses. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go for Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere Over the Rainbow? Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> where, where they weigh a pie? Yeah. 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 Okay. Should we, I have no idea. Should we see if you're I right? I haven't a clue. I'm just grasping at straws. Oh, oh, it's right. well done you. Well done me. T to be fair, I had no idea by any of that guff that was written. I just, <laughs> just, I just, I just grasped for a straw. You just grasped for a straw. Yeah, and I came back with a rainbow. Yeah, I, I just thought it was the theme tune from Rainbow. Yeah. So, okay. so, so your turn next. Yes. I try hard to be aware when the shout was passed along the queue to the stage of capitulation. I was big boned, but I was considerate. Occasionally I became anxious when I spot an open portal, shut your lids, empty your ventricles, slide the umbilical. Are we Homo sapiens or are we Pavlova? I know what this is. I think I know what it is now. Are we human or are we dancer? Yeah. Yeah. Or shut your face, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Well, shall, shall we see? Shall I, we see? I, I think you're right. Yeah, I think I'm right. Are we, too. are we tiny dancers or are we human? Yes. Hey. Oh, you got it right. Well hey. done, you. Well done, you. Well done, you. Uh, one for me, though. So it's one all at the moment. Yes. Okay, lob it out. And let's have a look. In my mind's eye, I saw a heavenly spectrum. You grasped it in the palm. Um, <laughs> I had moments of brilliance. You were able to perceive an entire design. I shuffled aimlessly around the globe for several planetary rotations while you maintained your presence within your allocated interior space. I witnessed the shape of a sickle. You 
observed the entire lunar hemisphere. I know what this one is. Do you really? Yeah, it's something by the water boys. You saw the whole of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> By waterboarding? The water boys. Water boys? Where were they from? I don't know. From the 80s, somehow. Oh, the decade I was born. Oh, yeah. Very small. Yeah, I think it's that one. The, the, the east side of the moon, the west side of the moon, the east side, west side. Is there a west side of the moon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, shall, we, shall we see? Shall we, shall we see? see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's the whole of the oh. moon. Shall we have the next one? My. How you exerted effort in attempts to reduce my height, spreading filthy rumours amongst my close social circle. However, my parental relation eluded that I should abandon her with no further consideration. Armageddon is not yet upon us. He told me promenade in the manner of an adult male. Converse in a simile of a fellow. Stride forth in a way a gent would. Boy of mine. No female is of sufficient value to warrant dragging yourself along the ground. So stroll in a masculine way, my male child. I know what this is. Do you? Yeah, it's walk like a man. Walk like Dude a man. Dude looks like a lady. Talk like a man. No, not that walk one. Walk like a man, my son. Oh, okay. I don't know. No either. woman's worth. I'm going to keep murdering the song until we put it up. Pulling on the earth. <laughs> I don't know who it's by, and I. I, I, I Oh, you got yeah. it right. Okay, by Frankie Valley. Yeah, I hate that song. I have no recollection of it. You don't? No. And they used it. I think they used it in Look Who's Talking. Look Who's Talking? Yeah. Is that the one about the babies? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, okay, should we, should we just see who, who what point is? Oh, we're up to. What are we up to, dudes? Two points each. Ooh, it's two all. Oh, so it's all to play for on the last one. Okay, let's see. Let's see if if I can if I can. Hello, Hale. We are your own team of female atmospheric scientists, and we have fresh data to impart. Prepare yourself, all you young women who feel alone and depart from your abodes with your psoriasis <laughs> and the relative <laughs> moisture content. Is increasing. I know what it is. And so do I. Yeah. So, shall I just go on? Just, shall we just say it? So we just say it's, uh, it's, it's raining, raining down by, by the, the weather, weather girls. girls. Yeah. And their psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So that's a draw, it's isn't a draw. it? Which means we're both losers. Or both winners. Or both winners. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's we, let's we, we need we need to we can't both uh, we can't be another time. I'm slightly scared that we're now becoming one, like the Borg. All right, okay. I'm, I'm slightly concerned you know what a borg is. <laughs> <laughs> Take up a stance. Position yourself accordingly to a prearranged plan. Fashion style trend, zeitgeist, mood, modern. Observe your surroundings. Wherever your face, there is a vagina. There is a angi there is angina. Ooh, that's painful. Um, it is in, <laughs> it is in all locations you visit. You explore all options to get away the discomfort of your conscious existence. On the occasion that remaining options are unsuccessful and you have aspirations beyond your experience. This day, I am unaware. I don't know any more words to say because there are lots of them. Uh, it is named a choreographic arena, and this is your reason d'etre. I think uh -huh. it's I Like Big Butts and I Cannot Lie by MC Big Booty. Okay. <laughs> is that a genuine guess? No. Can we, can we just show it up on screen again? I don't know. I haven't a Scooby Doo. Can we ask for a clue? Yeah, can we get a clue? Can we have? Can we have the? Can we have the the um, artist? You have to check. <laughs> Is that a sound that's outside my head? <laughs> what, what sound, Lee? <laughs> oh.
Madness baggy trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's Madonna. Oh, Ray of Light by Madonna. No, I'm gonna, gonna say Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> Vogue! It's Vogue! Oh my god, it is! <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you'll find I'm a winner. <laughs> you are. <laughs> By a complete fluke. <laughs> yes. And I nearly said Papa Don't Preach. Uh, st <laughs> Still to come, we are bringing you the next life lesson. And just after the break, it's Lee with the Showbiz News. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. It's time to speak to the man with a thousand accents, all that sound the same. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. How are you? Cher? <laughs> that was Irish. Oh, okay. How are you? That was Cher. No! Oh, okay. <sighs> Never be appreciated in my own lifetime. Anyway. It's showbiz news. So, are, are you a soap opera watcher? I have been known to watch the soaps now and again. What is your soap of choice? Don't say Palmolive. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Dove, to be fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it would have to be Hollyoaks. Oh. I have an affinity with Hollyoaks. Do you? Yes. Because you're an ageing 30-something playing a teenager. No? No. So, you're, you're a Hollyoaks fan? I will watch Hollyoaks now and again. Okay. Yeah. I, I used to do all the soaps. I used to I like plan my, entire, yeah. <laughs> plan my entire evening around soap operas. And then I just realised that they were just like a time thief. And, and there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing to show for it. Oh, you know. what, was, what was your favourite mo moment of the soaps? <sighs> do you know what? I, I'm going to have to say Hollyoaks. Mm -hmm. And it made me ugly cry. So, do you remember there was Max Cunningham? Yep. Yeah. And then he was looking after his little brother, mm -hmm. and then Max Cunningham got offed by a car, yeah, he did. and he was laid all squished and dying on, in the road, and then the little boy came and was like, do die, Max, do die. Well, I, that, I cried. That was really sad. And then I stopped watching it. Oh, okay. It's like, that's it. End, end yeah, I would imagine that that little child is probably now 28 and, now. Yeah. Because <laughs> Superman or something. Anyway, the reason we're talking about soaps is, is that famously in soap operas, they like to change actors, don't they? They like to replace a character with a completely different actor. I don't think they like to. Well, they don't I like... I think it's sometimes it's a necessity. If, yeah, if one dies or gets Goes lost. into rehab. Yeah, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, do it, they do it a lot. They so, do. But they like EastEnders, famously. Ben... Mitchell, yeah. he's had about 27 different actors mm -hmm. playing him. Yeah, that's, if, you, if you ever get cast as Ben Mitchell in his Enders, don't, don't no. kind of put your stuff in the locker because you're not going to be there for long. Anyway. Or Pippa from Home and Away. Pippa? Well, did, they, did they replace her a lot? Like every episode it was three Pippas in the same, same episode. Was it? I thought yeah. she was under twice than she, she, she left. No, it felt like forever because they, they did, they had a, in one episode it was two different Pippas. Oh, and so nobody, they're, they're no, going, they don't say anything. Pippa? They don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. So, so Coronation Street, mm -hmm. Bruno Langley, who plays... So we've got a picture of him. He no longer plays the character of um, Todd Grimshaw. Mm -hmm. um, they are replacing him oh. with same character, but a different actor. Oh, that's a shame. I, so, like, I like Bruno Langley. Yeah, but he's not allowed to now. Um, I'm so, still allowed to. <laughs> I'm still allowed to oh, like you're him. still allowed to like him. <laughs> he's, he's not in the show anymore. Anyway. Oh, okay. um, so, yeah, he, he has been replaced um, with this actor, who I don't know who he's called. That's how famous he is. Nobody knows what his name is. Yeah. So he's, he has been replaced to play the same character. So, like we were saying, mm -hmm. in soap operas, they do this quite a lot. So, particularly Coronation Street. Mm. So, the... Character of Nick Tilsley, mm -hmm. he has been played by three different actors. Okay. So we've got a picture. So we've got the original Nick Tilsley. Now, you probably won't remember the original nope. Nick Tilsley. No idea. He was played by Warren Jackson from 1981 to 1996. Oh, so, so what's when, the life of some of that? 
You were alive for some of that. Do you remember that? No, no. 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 They tend to, what they do is, with a child actor, mm -hmm. because they can kind of like, don't require them to do a lot of acting initially, when they get to an age where they either become very ugly because of puberty, or um, they can't act, <laughs> that's when they... They swap them out. They swap them around. So, so um, Warren Jackson was the first um, Nick Tilsley, and then we had Madame Rickett yes. um, as the most famous... Nick Tilsley. See, yeah, I remember Adam Rickett. Mmm. Yeah. And, and but he... mainly from his long-lasting and brilliant musical career. Mmm. Let's take a minute to th just remember that, that video one song. <laughs> of him in the test tube. In a, in, a, in a box, oiled up. Yeah. That's how I like my men. Do you? Yeah, in a box. Till, they, till the oh, air yeah. runs out and then you've got to get another one. I'm supposed to put air holes in. Yeah, otherwise they can't breathe. He's, he was called I Breathe, Breathe Again. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he famously got his pecs out a lot. Mm -hmm. He's now in Hollyoaks, isn't he? He, he is in Hollyoaks now, yeah? Ah. After he went into New Zealand. Did he? To be in Shortland Street. You seem to know a lot about Adam Rickett. <laughs> I like really bad Australian soap operas. Like you, like Adam, you, fall, you stalk Adam Rickett. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then now he is played by Ben Price, who is the third in our picture, who has played him since 2009 uh, to present date. Now, I had realised that he, Ben uh, Price, was in the original series of Footballers' Wives. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I didn't really get into Footballers' Wives too much. No, you were probably about nine, weren't you? No, because I was obsessed with Sky One's dream team. Which came out before Footballers' Wives. Okay. Which was the same sort of premise. And then um, we have Neighbours. And they're mm -hmm. not adverse to, you know, changing the, the act. Do you remember Lucy Robinson? I do remember Lucy Robinson. Now, I was of the generation that when Neighbours first started, mm -hmm. we used to nick off from school at lunchtime to go home and watch it. Used to what? Nick off. Nick off. Yeah, what would you call skiving off skill? Skiving off skill. Okay, <laughs> nicking off skill. Because um, it, it was only shown at lunchtime, uh, but right. then before they showed it at tea time. So the, the Lucy Robinson also had three actresses that played mm -hmm. her. So the first one was Kylie Flinker. She sounded like she always needed her tonsils taken out. <laughs> that was her exact voice. All right, okay. Yeah. So then they got exactly rid of Cher acts. No, that wasn't Cher. No. And then they got rid of her and then they got Sasha Close, who is the middle one. I <laughs> do, do you remember? <laughs> I used to live on her. Did you? Number four, Sasha Close. Oh, she became Sasha Fierce eventually. Did she? Yeah. I'm yeah. glad she didn't marry someone called Rel. Rel, because then you'd have to welcome the world to Sasha Rel. <laughs> oh God! And then finally is the one that plays her still, Melissa Bell. There was no <laughs> laughter. <laughs> <There> was no <laughs> laughter. But you chuckled for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for them to, to chuckle. So yeah, so so soaps have the habit of doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so nothing other than just saying you know watch Coronation Street because. <laughs> you don't know who anyone is anymore. Who are they all? Was there, was there anybody in particular? I, I'm, a, I'm of, a, of an age where um, Dynasty, um, they replaced Lucy in, in Dynasty quite a lot um, with different actresses. And there was the whole, uh, when Bobby died, um, but it wasn't, he hadn't really, he, it was all a dream. The, the, that, was that, that was Dallas, not Dynasty. You need to, you need to watch them on... Catch up or whatever it is. <laughs> very uh, old catch up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very old catch up. So, next bit of showbiz news. Cartoon characters. Yes. Can they be sexy? He Man. Pr case in point. Okay. We've established that. <laughs> but so, so, so we have, there is an artist. Okay. We've got a picture of this artist here. He's called Tom Taylor. Okay. And what he does is... Or TT to his friends. TT to his friends. Um, he, he, quite, quite a handsome chap. It's, it's, not, it's not an unfortunate not gentleman. Unfortunate. No. What he does is he takes sort of Disney characters and cartoon characters mm -hmm. and sexes them up. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Sexes them up! It's that, <laughs> it's that Westlife song. <laughs> you sex me up. up. No, that, was, um, <laughs> that was Colour Me Bad. Okay. Uh, one is six, you No, one. I was doing um, You Raise Me Up. But... Oh, OK. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, he, he takes um, Disney characters uh -huh. and he makes them look sexy. So okay. he puts them in things like tattoos and gives them beards. It's very LGBTQI friendly. OK. So we've got... A, we've got uh, the first one that we've got here is of um, Shaggy uh -huh. and uh, Freddy from Scooby-Doo. And he's given his slant to them. OK. Now, you always said that you thought Freddy was gay. Yeah. 
So, uh, so was this, is, right. this is proof yeah. for you. So he's, he kind of gives them tattoos. He beefs them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, makes them. Would you? Would you do? Would you be in the sa Would you be the Scooby Doo sandwich in the middle of that? Um, no, because they're cartoons. No, but if they was real. <laughs> oh, if they were real. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have a go. Okay. All right. Would you not? Yeah. Okay. So we'll move on to the next one, which um, we have the um, wives out of the Flintstones. So, um, Betty um, and Wel oh, Velma. Vel is one called Velma? No. Velma. Wilma and Betty. Well, yeah. Wilma Flintstone. That's the blank face over here. <laughs> Going out, Wilma Flintstone and Betty Rubble. Yeah. So he's kind of giving them tattoos, giving them a little bit of a sapphic edge. I think we do have one that you might approve of. Um, He-Man and you Skeletor. See, he's managed to make He-Man look less butch. Do you, well, I think that was the, that's the whole idea, isn't it? Skeletor mm. has made He-Man his bitch. <laughs> I always saw them as both being power tops, to be fair. Did you? Yeah, yeah. And that's I... why they're always fighting. Mm. Put two power tops together and they don't like it. I, I just always assumed that He-Man was a bottom. Nah. Because it's all, you know... He liked his sword too much. Oh. Okay. Um, let's have another one. Let's have, a, have, a, have another picture and see, see what he's done with, with these. Now, this is hilarious. <laughs> Woody <laughs> and Buzz Lightyear as Tiger King. Yes. That is hilarious. I love it. That's brilliant. Yeah. Very good. Um, so, yeah, you can find those on the internet for your, for your own enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> I have them bookmarked. Um, that is the end of this week's Showbiz News. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. I'll never be able to look at crayon the same way again. But coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. That's right. After this break, it is Mike and the bus. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Time for us to whiz over to Dick and Harry Corner. No, so, no, sorry, that's Countdown. <laughs> um, it's time for Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Dictionary Corner. Yes. Dictionary Corner. Dick Countdown. Dictionary Corner. There yes. we go. You're yeah, getting okay. stuck on the sea. Yeah. yeah. It's not the first time that's happened. Anyway, um, have you been on any picnics recently, Lee? Not recently, no. no I, I haven't got the gingham cloth out and spread eagled on the field. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a picnic, that's dogging. <laughs> no, I haven't done any of those. You haven't done any of no. those things. No, because it's, no. been, it's been quite nice weather mm. um, for the time of year, so I, I thought you might have just nipped out for a, the occasional sandwich on a, on a throw. A volavant. A volavant on a throw, then. Yeah, <laughs> um, well, <laughs> but I haven't. Be thankful you've not, because apparently it's quite dangerous. Is it? Yes. As we found out recently in Germany. Oh. As this man has had to chase a wild boar um, after it stole his bag. The thing was, he was naked at the time because he was naked sunbathing. Oh. And, and according to um, this article, it was because, well, he's German. And that, that's, they're allowed to do that? Apparently German bulls are allowed to steal people's bags. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> um, OK. I don't really know what else to say. So he, 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 had his, he was having he had a sunbathe. He, he was having a sunbathe, out, having a nice little picnic, had his bag out. Mm -hmm. right, had a bag to the side of him as well. And um, a boar came and stole his bag. He was lucky that it just took his bag. Why? What else could it have taken? His, Dignity? <laughs> yes. Yeah. His dignity? Yeah. Well, he, he lost that himself by running after the boar naked. Did he manage to catch it? Uh, we don't know. We, we don't know we these don't know. things. No, because we stopped reading after it was a, oh, a boar. Oh, OK. Run. Right. Being chased by a naked man with his bottom out. Yeah. I would probably have let that bag go. Would you? Yeah. It wouldn't be worth the... What if it had your clothes in it, though? Well, yeah. Oh, apparently it had his laptop in it. Oh, it had his laptop in it. Because you yes. take your laptop when you go naked sunbathing, don't you? You mean you don't? No. OK. Why would you not take your laptop? Because you don't need your laptop when you're outside. You can just leave it at home. OK. Yeah. While you're naked sunbathing. While you're naked sunbathing. OK. Um... <laughs> Must have had some hardcore porn on that that he didn't want any. He didn't want that group of balls to be looking at. <laughs> have you ever had anything stolen while sunbathing? No. <laughs> Just a straight no. Just a straight no. I don't sunbathe. I don't like sunbathing. Not even like having a nap outside. 
No, I, I don't nap outside because then I would fry and it would just be <laughs> dust at the end. No, I, I once went on holiday mm -hmm. and our apartment was burgled. Okay. And they took all our clothes and stuff. They, they took my left shoes and just left the right ones. <laughs> That's an evil genius move. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's going, this is no use to anybody, but a massive inconvenience. Yeah. Hope they like walking around with a right stiletto for the rest of their life. <laughs> I don't think they have to work for the rest of their life. They can take that off. <laughs> um, wait, and next story is all about jewellery. Oh, nice. Now, you like jewellery, don't you, Lee? I do. I'm partial yes. to a brooch. And a, and a bit of bling. I am, I am. Yeah. Today we can see... You've got oops. a winged heart. Yes. Oh, it's a heart. Mm. It looked like a bottom from here, because you had your, your hands covered in the oh, bottom. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, it could be. So it's a bottom. A bottom. A winged bottom. A winged bottom. Is that well, a thing in the gay community, a winged bottom? It flies in. <laughs> <laughs> flies, flies in. There. Bottoms away, flies and away. Goes. <laughs> mm. Well, we've been trolling on the internet and managed to find some new jewellery ideas for you. Okay. Okay. And this is when, when someone passes away, it can be a, a, a deeply troubling time. When uh, somebody passes away. When someone passes away. Mm. Yeah. So and it's always nice to have a little memento of them. So maybe a brooch that they used to have. Yeah, that, you know, always remember them, or a necklace that you may never wear, but would always cherish. Cherish. Yeah. Cherish. <laughs> Turn into Cher. <laughs> Snap out of it. Snap out of it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Pretend I had hair for a moment. <laughs> um, but the good news is someone's brought up another idea, because if someone doesn't like to wear jewellery, no. you can still have jewellery made from them. From, from who? From the dead person's teeth. Yes, you can now have beautiful jewellery made from a loved one's teeth. What better way to remember the dearly departed? <laughs> that's, that's messed up, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little bit wrong. Uh. Because, you know, you want to have them close to you at all times. Have a photograph. Put it by your bedside table. Even a lock of hair is slightly weird. <laughs> Don't be getting a pair of pliers and <laughs> hooking their teeth out and putting them in a ring setting. Is it an open casket? Yes, I've brought me flowers. <laughs> pliers. Oh, that's that's. I've heard I've heard that you can have um, ashes of people turned into diamonds. Yes, so they do what, a process. That's what, that's what I have planned for mine. Oh right, okay. Yeah, they make yellow grey diamonds. Oh, and you're gonna have it made into a to a Prince Albert for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> No. 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 <laughs> like little necklaces for a my little family. Necklace. A little necklace. Okay. For my family, yes. Yeah, and that's quite nice. Yeah, yeah. Or into glass. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I don't want to wear somebody's teeth around my neck. I think maybe Lady Gaga has shown me your teeth. What yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and those teeth are quite in good condition. They are, yeah. Maybe they were dentures. Oh, hacking, you know, <laughs> whacking them to pieces. It's not right. No. What's next? You know, pubes. Well, you said a locket of hair. Well, yeah. It is only hair. Nipple earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Are they called pierced nipples? No, you cut the nipples off oh, and right, then hang okay. them. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Earrings for nipples? What weirdness yeah, is this? I'm not, I don't think that's nice. You don't think the, that's I nice. have heard of, in America, parents who, who have children, when their, their kids' baby teeth fall out, mm -hmm. they save them. And then they have this teddy bear made and they have the teeth inserted into the teddy bear's mouth. It's horrific. Okay. I mean, when I've had teeth removed from the dentist, they've said, oh, you can keep it if you want. Mm. And that's always been a case of a... Why? Yeah. If you're going to start taking body parts off and turning them into a tree, just have your loved one taxidermied and just have them sat in the armchair for, the, for eternity. <laughs> now, taxidermy is a nightmare to keep clean, though. Just a little light dusting every now and again. Oh. <laughs> I've just got some image of you with a taxidermied relative now. That, that's what's going to happen to me. I'm going to I'm going to be taxidermied, and the generations forever now are going to, are going to have to look after me. Otherwise, they're cursed. <laughs> okay. Well, he's just wanting to get stuffed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> and if something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just look for The Could TV on all the usual social platforms. And someone who's done just that in spades is Mrs. Belinda Mycock, who writes... Dear Chewing the Cud, Watching a recent episode of Mastermind, I was left pondering the following. If quizzes are quizzical, then what are tests? 
Yours, Mrs. Belinda Mycock. Cockermouth. If, if quizzes are quizzical, yeah. tests, what are tests are testicles. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to beat around the bush, but I'm bummed. <laughs> <laughs> Made that joke before. And that brings us quite nicely onto the story of the week. OK. OK. Now, we've got a bit of a theme with this one, because we've covered this sort of thing before. We, OK. OK. Where a man has admitted that he regretted putting popping candy into his foreskin. Yes, I do remember this story. Not this one, it was something Not this similar. one. I do remember that there's been people that have put other things upside them. Yes. Inside them, upside them. Inside them, them upside them. them. Yes. Oops, upside you, you know what's it. Yes. Yes. Um, and, and this man called Gareth, who decided to, to take some adventure on his own and pop some popping candy up there. Why? For, for giggles. OK. Yeah. Um, there's been reports in the, in the past where if, if someone performing an act of sexual love on someone else. Sexual love? Sexual love, not platonic <laughs> love. OK. Because that's a different thing. <laughs> sexual love. So, basically, someone going down going, hello. Um, OK. Pop some popping candy in their mouth. Yeah. Yeah, and it makes it tickle. Are you, when you say some people, are you talking about yourself? No. <laughs> OK. I don't like popping candy. Oh, right, OK. okay. <laughs> so, so, he, so he... So he thought the theory would apply on his own as well. Oh, right, OK. And so he inserted some, some under his foreskin. What happened, Mike? Um, the moisture made the popping candy pop with, um, shall we say, vigorosity. Oh, no, did his bell and blow off? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was very uncomfortable. Oh. As, have you, you've had popping candy in your mouth. I have, yes. Have you ever put too much popping candy in your mouth? Yeah, yeah. And it, 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 yeah, get, just pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and it pop. aches a bit and you can feel it yeah. in your ears. Yeah. Imagine that feeling Up in you. your little fella. In your little fella. In your little fella. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I wouldn't be doing that in the first place. No. With anyone with a half a, half a brain cell would assume that shoving something like that... If we could just fire up the picture again. <laughs> he looks like Eddie the Eagle Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> he does, you're right. Um, he does not look like he's had the, the most fun. No. In his life. So, bit... so did he learn his lesson, or did he go back next week and, and shove half a ton of sherbet up his back package? <laughs> <laughs> back package? <laughs> That's the sherbet fountain. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the gallery appreciated that one. Oh. I finally made it funny. But that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for that, Mike. I'm going to look into buying some popping candy in bulk. <laughs> well, strap in, buckle up and brace, 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 because coming up next is our life lesson. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you've not been shaving any body parts while we've been away, because now it's time for our life lesson. Life Lessons. So, Mike, this week's life lesson mm -hmm. is arty. Ooh. Yeah. Have you ever been on your hollybobs yes. and um, seen those people that do caricatures of tourists? I have, yes. Yeah, yes. so, you, you know, they, they usually buy the river and... <laughs> If there's a river nearby. If there's a river, it doesn't have to be yeah. a river. Um, or a water course of any description. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they do those like comedy character chores. Uh -huh. So that is what we're going to try today. Okay. I am going to draw a caricature of you, uh -huh. and you are going to attempt to draw a caricature of moi. Okay. okay. Um, we've got some examples for you to have a look at. Okay, just so, so I'm doing. Yeah, just have a quick. So we've got this, this is the kind of style. So we've got Elton of John. Oh, okay, I thought that was you. <laughs> Without my wig. So Elton <laughs> of John, um, and then we have Amy, Amy Winehouse, uh -huh. and Whoopi Goldberg, Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi. Goldberg. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the kind of style that we're going okay. for. Now, just to kind of mix it up a little bit, uh -huh. we're gonna do it blindfolded, just for a laugh and see what happens. So I'm not going to be able to see as I'm drawing. No, you're just gonna you're gonna take a board, take on board all this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Memorise it. Okay. And then try and encapsulate that blindfolded. Think it. Think of it like the like the hello video for, from from Lionel Richie. 
when, when the woman was face. making the... Yeah. But don't touch me. Oh, okay, I'm not allowed okay. to touch you. Yeah, so, so I should have provided you with all the accoutrements that you will need. Okay. So you should have a professional um, um, chewing the cud um, clipboard with paper attached, yes? Yes. Um, you should have a choice of pens. So um, we've got the um, homosexual rainbow pen uh -huh. there, or, or, or a Sharpie type pen. Whatever you, you want just to a, use. Just a black marker, really. Just a black marker. OK. Um, and then um, a, a face mask. So this face mask? Yeah. No, of your eyes. Of my eyes. You, you've had one. You've not used these before. I haven't. Not even in sexy bedtime. No. Times. I, I think we should perhaps give ourselves a time span. Okay. Shall we say eight minutes? Oh, that exact eight minutes. Okay. Uh, you can take the top off your pen first. Okay. I, th I thought you were going to just make it a whole challenge. <laughs> no, take your, take your pen off first. Right, okay. So I'm, I'm going to look at you, Mike. I'm going to look at you. I'm going to take it, take it all in. Yeah. Oh, nice. That, don't do your sex face. Um, <laughs> and. What? Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> and then um, then pop pop your glasses on. So pop my glasses on. Uh, on. Pop pop your mask on. Okay, right. So ha have you have you located your pen? I have. Yes. <laughs> have you located the the paper? I have indeed. Yes. Okay. So we're going to start the clock now. So eight minutes from now to do your best. Caricature. Okay, dogs. Go for it. And oh, we will talk as well. Okay, <laughs> well, we can talk as well. Um, so, uh, we, we, you, Did you have a nice holiday. <laughs> Were you good at art at school? Did you like at art? I was good at modern art, kind of art and design sort of thing. Okay. Um, but not really actual art. Art. Oh. So as soon as you started having to understand what people look like and making things look normal. Then it was out of the window. No, it was out the window. Okay. I don't, I don't know where else to go now. I've, I, I... <laughs> so, which bits are you doing at the minute? The... I, I'm trying to draw your beard at trying the moment. Trying to do my beard at the moment? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm currently doing your face, um, about the, the mouth area. I, I'm doing the caricature thing where you've got a massive head, a massive head, uh -huh. and a tiny body. Oh, okay. That's 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 nice. Well, as long as I can lose some weight. So I think I think I've, I think I've done. I'm okay with the head at the moment. Uh -huh. Never had any complaint. But hey, um. <laughs> whose joke is that one? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna move on to the tiny body. Tiny body. I'm, I don't. Know, I'm feeling the paper as if it will tell me <laughs> <It's laughs> <quail paper. laughs> where where your chin is. <laughs> I'm doing something quite similar. It's not in braille though. It's it's not in braille. You're right. No. I'm, I'm, um, I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm just, just, I'm just onto your chin now. Oh, okay. I'm not going to say which one I'm doing. Oh, oh what a bitch. I know. <laughs> Do your tiny bird-like hands. Tiny bird-like hands? <laughs> I think I'm pretty much going to be finished. <laughs> <laughs> just scribbling in now, just to... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go for the. I'm not going to go for the. I'm not going to go for the color. I'm not going to go for shading. Might put a sun in the sky, sky though. Might yeah. put a sun in the sky. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying not. To, I'm trying to find where the desk is so I don't <laughs> draw on the desk. Have you have you ever had one of these done? These... Um, no. no. No, it's never I'm, never appealed. I'm not really a one for being drawn. Not like one of your French girls. No. No. I once led on a garden. Bed and, and with a meat pasty between my boobs and ask somebody to draw a picture. Was this someone that you knew, or was it a stranger passing by? It, it was the postman. <laughs> the postman. And did he oblige? Uh, no. No. He yeah. threw the letters at me and then did one. I, I, I'm thinking that mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to use my whole eight minutes. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it's okay because what we can do is we can. We can f almost finish. I, I, I don't think I'm far off to be I, I think I'm pretty much finished because I don't know what I've done, where. Okay, yeah. well, well, I think I'm done. You think you're done? Yeah. Okay. This is the masks. Oh. Oh, light. Oh, it's very bright. It is bright. Um, what should we do? Shall I? <laughs> um, I'm looking at mine. 
and it's uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at mine and it's it's interesting, it's different. It's different. It? What shall we do? Shall, shall we take it in turns to reveal them to the camera? <laughs> yes. Okay. Mike. This is you. <laughs> so, um, so you can actually draw though, which is a, a disappointment. It's a shame that I've only got one eye, one pupil. It, it, it's there. The other pupil is there. <laughs> it, it kind of went off. Um, I, I, I'm pleased that I got the eyebrows. Yeah. And there is a beard there. It's there just not on your face. Not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, but the, the hands are in the kind of in the right area. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I, I can't really do caricatures. I can't really draw very well. Okay. But this is my interpretation of you, Lee. You lying get! You didn't have your you you you, did, you 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 couldn't have drawn that with the your with covered up. I have got excellent hand-eye coordination, Lee. I don't believe you did that with your ma your mask on. I'm sorry, but that it's quite obvious because look, that that pupil's a bit wonky. I've got an extra for some reason you've got an extra thick iris on that side. Yeah, I don't know what this is going on here. No. I'm liking the fact that you've got both chins um, <laughs> in, in there. <laughs> to be fair, that, I, I think that was your first jawline, but then I couldn't remember where the tree oh, face. <laughs> I, I, I'm impressed because that is... got a brooch. Did a brooch. Yeah, I'm impressed because that is like properly... But when I watch this... I'm, I, I'm really I, awful at drawing, that's the only problem. But when I... Because I, I do watch these back, I if, if I will scrutinise... <laughs> Don't edit it out. <laughs> I will find out. Edit it out, am I? Yeah. What I would, what I would like the viewers to do is to do them themselves, and then yeah. then send copies of them. Not copies of them. We don't want them. <laughs> we don't want to put them on the wall. Um, put them on Lee's fridge. It'll be fine. <laughs> take photographs of them and put them on our social media, and we will see if people can do better. Hashtag funny face. Hashtag funny face. Yes. Hashtag only one chin. <laughs> so you want people to do us? No, they don't draw us. Oh, okay. They can, oh, well, yeah, they could draw us. Yeah. Or themselves. I, I know people that can do art, so please, people that I know that do art, do me. Yeah, draw, draw us a lovely... <laughs> if, you, if you think that you can better that, that looks like you've got hydrocephalus. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with my baby, but I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> So there you go, yeah. An another amazing life lesson. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Um, but that brings us, to, I'm just gonna take this off because I'm getting hot. Um, that brings us to the end of the show this week. Squish, 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 squish. You still have enough time to find us on the socials, which is the Cud TV, our website, which is the Cud.tv. And while you're on our website, have a look at our support section where you can find exclusive content. Like a cheeky fart at a business function, we've just got time to squeeze out our picture of the week, which comes from Colonel Apex Windeline from Fires Entry, Oxfordshire. And he says... Right, you chaps. Thought I'd send you a picture of my plums. I plan to show them on the village green on Sunday. I hope the vicar's wife will squeeze them to feel how plump they are. And maybe pose for a photo holding them, when she awards them best in show. Oh, I'm a bit concerned about the state of his plums. So there's something, something wrong with them. Look a bit diseased. Yeah, flies. Yeah, that's not good. Seek help. But that's the end of the show, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.